Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get this pop art like effect in Affinity Photo. I just took this picture from built in stock library. Alright, let's go back to layer panel. Now I can duplicate this layer, so right click and select duplicate. Here it is, we got a copy. So now we can explore adjustments. As you can see, there are multiple different adjustments and you can click on them to see the preview. They will show you the preview, the result. All right, let's explore some adjustments. For this first copy, I will go with the strong black and white effect so I can get a texture out of it. All right, this one, threshold. As you can see, I can modify it using the slider. So I want it to be very bright so I can see the texture on the hair area. I don't want hair to be like this one black area. I want the texture. All right. So here it is. Now I'm going to match this adjustment layer with the image. So I match down and now I've got just the image here. All right. I will make one more copy of the original picture and I will apply different adjustment to that copy. All right. So let's explore other adjustments. You can always see a preview by opening the group like this. All right. This is the one we need to use for this pop art style. So let's select the adjustment, click on it. And here it is. There will be slider so you can modify the effect. We want this to be quite strong. So Keep the slider on the left, like this. All right, we can go back to layer panel and like previously, I will match this down with the picture itself. Here it is. You may remember we also create this black and white adjustment layer. I will blend that with the new layer. So I will blend this, but I will re reduce opacity. So this black and white layer is very, very transparent just 50% of normal opacity. So it will give us this nice texture on the hair area. All right, we got two adjustments. We need one more. So we need to improve the saturation. You can drag the slider to the right and maybe a little bit darker like this. All right, it needs to be oversaturated like this. Now I can simply right click and match down and here is our pop art version of the picture. Now I'm going to duplicate this three times. So I got four pop art images in total. I will select them all with shift and now I can scale them down just drag by dragging the corner. Hold the shift to keep the proportion. All right. I will show the ruler so I can see the ruler. I can estimate where is the center. You can also just check what is the original size of the big picture. So I will simply click all the original photo and then I can see the size in the transformation panel. At the bottom over here, it's 1200. So half of this will be 600. Press enter to confirm. And now I got exactly half of the original size. I can place them next to each other. Let's turn on magnet so it will stick nicely like this. All right, we got two more copies to place here and one here. All right, we got four copies. Now we need to add more adjustment layers to alter the colors. So let's use the same adjustment used previously. We can alter the color. I want this to only modify one layer below. So you can right click on the adjustment and search for mask to below. This way, this adjustment will affect only one layer below, not all layers like here. Perfect. Let's do the same process for remaining images. So adjustment, alter the color, 
using the sliders and then link the adjustment to just one layer below. One more time. Right click and mask to below and here it is. Here's our pop art. We make a copy of a photo with multiple adjustments so it looks like a pop art. This was the original picture and here's our pop art. Nicely done. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. See you in the next one.